Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see the new topic that is the menstruation, the part one of it. So actually in short I can say that mens menstruation is a branch of mathematics that deals with the measurement of geometric figures like you know the film this is the square rectangle then the trapezium parallelogram and so on so we are going to see here the areas and the volumes and the surface areas of the various shapes in this topic so now let us go for the innings 14.1 the side of a square exceeds the side of another square, means there are two squares by 5 cm, and the sum of the area of two squares is 200, sorry, 325 cm square. Find the side of each square. So now let us see, let us write the given things first. So now let us consider, like, because there are two squares, so we can say let the side of the smaller square be x cm. Then the side of the larger square will be what? Because they said the side of another square, because it exceeds means it is, it's going to be plus. So by five, so it is going to be, because since this is X, so that is going to be X plus five. And now we'll see what is that given here? Sum of the area of two squares is 325 centimeters square. So first we have consider X, so the, this will be sum of the area of two squares so this is going to be x square plus x plus 5 square is 325 because you know the area of a square means this is going to be x square and this other is going to be x plus 5 whole bracket square so this this equation is important so now what will you do here? This is x square. When you expand this one, this is in the form of a plus b whole bracket square. That is going to be a square plus 2ab plus b square. So what will you write here? This will be x square. a square means x square plus 2ab means 2 into x into 5. That is going to be 10x. And b square means this is 25, 5 square. And this is 325. So this is going to be, this is 1, this is 1, so 2x square plus 10x plus 25. If you bring this on the other side, that is going to be minus 325, that is going to be 0. So 2x square plus 10x, when you solve this part, that will be minus 300 is equal to 0. Now this is the quadratic equation, why? Because that, uh, that is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is 0. So whenever you have a quadratic equation and the coefficient is other than this one, we can do one thing. This is divisible by 2. So we can make it smaller. We are going to divide it by 2. So here, this will be x square. This is going to be, if you divide by 2, that is going to be 5x. And if you just divide by 2, that is going to be 150. So this is simplified. So now what are you going to do? this is there are three terms in it so in this one this is the first term this is the middle term and this is the last term so what we have to do the actually the coefficient here is one so one into 150 so that is going to be 150 so we are going to take the prime factors of 150 first now see here this is going to be 3 25 are then 5 5s are and 5 ones are so these are the factors so we have to arrange these factors in such a way that the middle term we get as plus 5 so what is that going to be it is going to be 15 and this one 10 so we want plus 5 so plus 15 and minus 10 so from these factors only we have to take the numbers so that will be plus 15 and minus 10 is going to be plus 5 so what we can write here this x square is going to be as it is here we, for this one we can write here plus 15 minus 10 minus plus 15x minus 10x and this will be same and is equal to 0. So now we can see these are the four terms. So what are you going to do? You are going to group it to, in two. So this, this is the first group. This is the second group. So from the first group what you can see x is common. 
So in the bracket will be x square plus 15. And this will be x plus 15. So here this is minus, so it will be same. So from the second one, what we can see here, 10 is common. So this is going to be x plus 15. So now when you expand this one, you can check. You get the same as this one is equal to zero. Now you can see and always it should be this both brackets should be same. So you are going to take it only once. And what is outside here x minus 10. So that will be in the other bracket is equal to zero. Now this part is going to be zero. And or this part is going to be zero. So x plus 15 is equal to zero or x minus 10 is equal to zero. So when you solve this x is going to be minus 15. Or if this will go there that is x is going to be 10. So here what happens here? x cannot be minus 15 because here what is that? That is given the length of this thing that cannot be negative. So we can take x is 10. So now what we what did you do? What did we consider here? Side of the smaller square that is x. So we can write a side of smaller square is equal to 10 centimeter and side of la larger square will be what? x plus 5 that is going to be 10 plus 5 that will be 15 centimeter. Now there is a square of side 44 centimeter and find the radius of the circle whose perimeter is equal to the perimeter of the square. So side of square is given as 44 centimeter. So now first now let us see there are two things here the perimeter of a circle and the perimeter of square. So perimeter of square the formula is 4 as 4 into side. This is a square. Perimeter means sum of all sides. So side, 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 side means 4 times. So 4s. So now 4 into s, this is given as 44. So that is 176 centimeter. And perimeter of circle, this is the perimeter of circle. So it is 2 pi r. This is the formula what you have to remember. So the pi value either you can take here 22 by 7 or it will be 3.14 because 7 ones are 7, 3 is a and point that will be 14 3.14 so we can take 22 by 7 and we don't know the radius so what will you do now now see what did they say find the radius of the circle whose perimeter is equal to the perimeter of the square means both of them the perimeter of square and the circle both are equal so what we, we got this as 176 so below this perimeter of circle we can write it 176 this two 22 by 7 and this one. So what will you write here? This will be 1. This will come here in the numerator. So along with 176, 176 into 7. This will go in the denominator. That will be 2 into 22. This R is on its side. So now what will you write here? 22 ones are 22 8s are 176. 2 ones are 2 4s are. So this is 28. So 28 centimeter is the radius. So we can say radius of circle is 28 centimeter. A rectangular floor of dimensions 8.4 meter into 5.4 meter is to be tiled with the right triangular marble pieces with base 40 centimeter and height is 30 centimeter. So how many marble pieces will be required to cover the floor? So now what will you do? Length of rectangle that is given here. These are the dimensions given. We can consider this as the length and the breadth. Length is given as 8.4. Breadth is given as 5.4 meters. So area of, you know, the rectangle, the area is lent into breadth. So this is a rectangular flow means we will take the area of the rectangle that is lent into breadth. So we will multiply this into this one. After multiplying this into this, we get, you can multiply and see that is 45.36 meter. This is meter square. So now what did you say that the, 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 this is to be tied with the right angular measure pieces with base is given as 40 centimeter and height is given as 30 centimeter this is in meter and this is given in centimeter so how many marble pieces will be required to cover the floor so now what will you do here you know this is in meter square so this should be first converted into centimeter square so now we know that one meter is 100 centimeter so if we are taking here 1 meter square, that is going to be 1 and these are 2, we are going to put here 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeter square. So see here 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever this double number of it. So now we want in centimeter square. So 1 centimeter square, so sorry, this one will be, uh, sorry, this will be uh, 45, 45.36 meter square. So we want because this in 
centimeter so 45.36 meter square will be how much centimeter so what are you going to do this you are going to multiply by this one because one meter square we got as one and four zeros so we want 45.36 meter square that is going to be when you multiply this into this you get yeah i will multiply and show you that will be 45.36 into that will be four zeros so what will you do first we'll remove the decimal we'll keep it at the side and we'll put here two four zeros and then how will you go we'll go backwards by two so if you are going backwards by two and putting a decimal means this is the number which is written here so now what they have asked how many marble pieces will be required to cover the floor so now what will you do here now we can say here area of one right triangular tile because it is given here rectangular floor is of dimensions is is to be tiled with the right triangular marble pieces with the base this one so we know the area of right triangle that is what is that half base into height so the base is given as 40 and the height is given as 30 so in place of this base you will write 40 and this is 30 so two ones are two twenties are so when you multiply this into this we get 600 centimeter square so from this one we can because they have asked the number of tiles so to find out the number of tiles we are going to divide the area divided by the area for the rectangular flow divided by the, the area of the triangular tile so this divided by this one so this and this gets cancelled so six ones are 675 so from seven sorry uh, 56 that is tile so we can say therefore 756 tiles are required to cover the floor the r end of a clock is 6.3 centimeter long find the distance covered by it in two days so now what is given here so now this is a clock so this is the minute uh, this one is the uh, uh this one is the minute one and this one so this one can you see here whenever this claw this is the this is only half part of it means this is the radius of it so this is going to be the radius of it because they said r end of a clock is 6.3 centimeter long so this is 6.3 centimeter long this is the r end so now what we can do here, we can write the radius that is 6.3 centimeter. So now this, because it is a circle, the clock is a circle. So we know the circumference of a circle. So that is the circumference is 2 pi r. So 2 into 22 by 7 into this will be 6.3. So 7 ones are 7, 9s are 63 because, but it is 6.3 means it is going to be 0 0.9. So when you multiply this into this into this, we get 39.6 centimeter. So now what is happening here? If it is completing one circle means in 12 hours, huh? our intervals is 39.6. But in then we want for 24 hours because one day, because they said how much it will cover in two days. So one day is 24 hours. So in 24 hours, it will travel how many? 39.6 into two. So that is going to be 79.2 centimeter. But then if you are looking it for two days, so this was whatever we got that is for one day because one day is 24 hours. So this we got for one day. So in two days, the total distance covered will be 79.2 into two, that will be 158.4 centimeter. That is what they asked. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.